Uncle Thor here. We're going to talk about the radio rune. And the radio rune is symbolized by the wheel, which is very appropriate because as the wheel turns, which is the circular, the route it travels is linear. So this rune in its way is very much a combination of circular and linear, both rotation, revolution, and traveling in a straight line. Rado is also the rune of the cart, the transporter. And Rado, in its time-space aspect, has traveled. Has a lot to do with things like the theory of relativity, which states that the faster we go, the more we slow time. Now, Einstein did a lot of work on time-space, and that all comes under the purview of this rune. Time and space. And in a very, uh, now that seems very abstract and very scientific, but remember, the GPS satellites that you use can only be used because they have to calculate in the effect of relativity from the signals coming in. Those uh, satellites are very far from the Earth. And the time it gets from the signal to get from there to here may seem infinitesimally quick speed of light, but they have to take into account relativity. Otherwise, these things would get progressively less accurate and you would be off by many miles within a matter of hours. So that's an interesting thing to consider. The other thing we need to look at with Rado is the idea of time, space, and distance. Um, speed is the time it takes to cover a certain distance. Time and space are inseparable. Einstein called them time space because you really can't judge time without space and you can't really measure distance without figuring time, time, speed, and velocity. And the biggest outworking we see in this is in the fields of transportation that we have today that uh, they deal with things such as distance and the time it takes to traverse that distance. The time it would take to say fly from Philadelphia to California. The time it would take a train to go from say uh, Philadelphia to New York or New York to Boston. These things all have to be calculated. And one of the reasons why is that they often try to time things so that when one thing arrives, something coming from another direction also arrives and you can transfer. You can transfer from one train to another to get to your destination or you can go to a hub. That's what the airlines like now and your plane gets there and you can transfer to the plane that will take you to your precise city. The idea also of coordinating buses and other forms of transit so that when folks are getting off the train, they can go right down to the other end of the platform and to pick up the bus that will take them right to the street where they need to be. This coordination of transportation. And it gets more intense because then comes in the matter of cargo and that affects it. Now you look at those trains going out with 10, 20, up to 100 cars loaded with coal, what they call a coal drag. And it's a big difference between when the cars are empty and the cars are full. So they have to calculate the weight, the speed, how things change. Maybe they drop some cars off at different locations along the way. It's a very complex thing. And yet that all is within the radio room. The idea of scheduling, the idea of distance, the time to get there, the time to coordinate with another form of transportation to continue the journey. These transfers are also a very radio thing. Going from the airplane to the bus, you know, you get, you land at uh, the airfield, you might take a bus or taxi into town and all these things coordinate and interlock. It's a very amazing thing. This is what makes logistics so complex. And uh, the army got onto this because in, there was a time when supply and transportation were two separate things. And now they work them together because they've come to realize you need to have both coordinated better. The quartermaster call can't just be a separate thing. 
it has to be intimately hooked in with supply, and that's why you have battalions known as supply and transportation. Logistics being such an important thing, whether the military business or any other enterprise, the ability to get the materials and the things you need to do the job you need to do. And that's all very much a radio thing too, getting that to you, keeping you supplied, keeping you moving. So when you think of radio, it's not just some simple thing of a cart or a stagecoach. It's a very complex thing that goes all the way to esoteric concepts such as the theory of relativity and things related to it, to something as mundane and common as riding a bus, finding a schedule to get a train, planning a flight so that you can coordinate and catch a connecting flight to your exact destination, all of that comes within the purview of Rado. This is Uncle Thor. Have a good one.